Hi, what's up? Simon HC here and welcome to our units and scale section. This is very important start to build a proper scene and then work with proper units and have physical correct effects. And many of you guys have asked me how to import the cut files in a good way. And uh, there are a couple of things you need to uh, take care of and pay attention to then you can avoid a lot of trouble so first let's go ahead and look at this screen graph from AutoCAD and we have a pretty simple shape of a building and uh, this edge on the left side has a dimension of 22,082 so the designer thinks it's 20 meters 82 centimeters which makes sense for a small building and everything is perfectly fine but when you will go to the options from the AutoCAD uh, AutoCAD soft you will see that the insertion scale is for example millimeters and that's very common because the architects usually do not change this just uh, they are assuming for example they are uh, drawing in centimeters but in fact they have 2082 mils so it's 2.82 meters and uh, now is the problem because how you can correct this directly in 3ds max by importing the cut file so uh, you will not have any trouble and uh, there is a way so let's jump in 3ds max and uh, that's the model so I will show you first we need to go to the uh, unit setup and we have here the system unit scale I have one unit that's one millimeter that's okay hit okay and now I have the display unit scale set to metric you can uh, set this to meters or centimeters it's up to you and uh, now what we're gonna do we'll import the cut file so we have here the sample building and uh, now we'll just import without any changes so that's the default setup for the import so hit OK and we have the building now what we can do is take the tape from the helpers so take the tape enable twin half snap and let's do the measurement so we can see we have here 208 centimeters so let's go back to our drawings so that's exactly 2.82 meter we can also go ahead and change the units to meters you'll see it's automatically updated and it's correct actually but uh, we want to have the building in the right scale as the architect in the cut file which he's working on and uh, which basically he thinks it's okay so right now what we need to do so change first the units so we have the proper system units and uh, second of all uh, check the dimensions in AutoCAD so for example I know that this dimension should be 20 meters not 2 meters because in that case this could be a very exclusive house for a dog but uh, not actually for human so uh, I know this is 20 meters and uh, this means that uh, all the units that are here in AutoCAD are in centimeters and now I need to tell 3ds Max while importing this cut file the drawing has been drew in centimeters so I'm gonna import the cut file again and I'm gonna say, say rescale and centimeters now this says that all the drawing has been drawn in centimeters and uh, every unit that will be imported from AutoCAD file will be interpreted as centimeter so one means here now one centimeter while in fact 
in AutoCAD it means one millimeter. I hope this makes sense for you guys. So we hit OK. Now let's go ahead to the helpers, choose tape. Once again, we take the measurements and we see we have 20.82 meters and that's the correct scale. And now we can move on with uh, the modeling process and we'll have all in the correct sizes. And pay attention to because for example, if you start to work and the cut file will be not in millimeters but in inches for example then you will have all in wrong scale because one unit will be 2.54 and uh, then you got a big problem after I don't know two days of modeling when you realize that uh, all is wrong and you need to rescale change the units that really sucks and uh, may bring you a lot of trouble we've been through this so you can't believe me okay I hope uh, this little thing will be helpful and also I got uh, questions recently on the forum about the uh, rule of the third how to implement this on your screen and one of you guys uh, pointed out a uh, blog from uh, Patrick aka Viscon who has also taken part in one of our sessions and you can do that as a handy uh, with the save frames and we can change the action save frames right here so we can set it to 66 oops 66 percent it's not very accurate but still working good zero 66 okay let's check it out and then uh, now we have the rule of the third implemented in our scene. To display the save frame, you can also use the shortcut Shift F. Save. Frame. Okay. See you soon, guys.